What's going on guys? If you guys are clicking on this video, obviously you guys are probably in the same dilemma that I am is that you guys are looking for a four point or a road cage or something on how to do it on a 350Z convertible and there really isn't no support or like something that you can pre-buy. Now, one, I'm not a welder. Two, this is not a how-to. This is more the ideas that I found and what I'm gonna do on my 350Z which is right here. Um, so we'll get to that in a little bit. So again, one, I'm not a welder. I mean, I know how to weld. I know how to do some basic stuff. So uh, two, uh, there's like two or three different ideas and I'll put them somewhere around here. So the first, I obviously the first couple people that you guys probably already know if you guys are searching is Luke Fink. And that's like the one that you kind of see the most, but he doesn't go into details on how to do it. Two, he cuts everything off and basically he has no more convertible, which for me, I live in Florida and that's not gonna work because it rains a lot here. And this is more of a practice car than a full track car. It, it, I'd street drive it, street drift it. Of course not Mexico. Um, so that wouldn't work for me. Now, th and then there's a couple other styles on Instagram. Again, I'll try to put it right here. The few that I remember uh, that do like a cutoff version of putting a four point into it now the second way that i've seen people do it which uh shout out to smoky drift and then i think the fabricator that did it for him was the dog house right uh i think that's his youtube channel and they, he has he's the only one that has a short video on how to actually do it uh or to an extent of what his process was so if you guys want to check that out, the doghouse or Smoky Drifts, which that's Smoky Drifts red convertible. Um, and I'll put maybe a picture. He just sent me one. And I want to thank him because I messaged him. I said, hey, does this pass tech? And he talked to me about it and gave me where he got his ideas. So I really do appreciate that. Uh, the drifting community is still one of the best communities out there. Now, let me show you guys. So I just got a already pre-bent uh main loop for a 350z from a buddy i think he bought it from ebay i'm not too sure i traded him some parts from my spare 250z now so the first thing that i was struggling with right is i want to keep the convertible on it's working now so how to run the down bars right so if you're smart enough and you can bend and you can do all this stuff you might be able to make some clearance back there now the problem with that or the, that I was realizing is this top metal right here, it's empty, you know what I mean? It's just like a shallow, so I don't think it would be strong. Now, for example, Luke Fink, he did it to the wheel wells, which that's what I wanted to do, plating it and putting it there. But now with that, the issue you're gonna run into is this hard, cause this is hard and you can't really move it out of the way. Now, another thing that you could probably do is maybe cut these off and then do a dumb bar straight to one of these from here to here. But then I don't know if that would pass regulations at your local track. I think that's the first thing you guys, if you guys have a, a convertible 350Z that you guys have to look for. Let's check your local regulations and see if that passes tech. Based on what I know, the way that uh, Smokey Drift did his um, was they ran a pipe, 11 inch pipe basically from here to here. Now, I've checked my clearance when this is upright like this and it has a little bit more room on the bottom so it can scoot and be more even um, from there to there. My convertible is still going to work. I don't have to cut my flap because that's another thing that I realized that people that do uh, cut them down and go down bar, they have to cut the, the, the vert cover um, to make it fit with the down bars. Now, where I got my four point, I'm pretty sure this is a eBay 350Z loop that I got from my buddy. I traded him some spare parts from my other Z, that one, uh, and he gave me this loop. Uh, and then I bought a universal kit because right now with the prices of metal and everything, uh, everything is really expensive. So even going to your local, maybe your local is different, but it would be it was about like a hundred, a hundred and fifty ish, depending like for a twelve footer um versus i paid like 215 for this kit which from amazon literally for, i'll put I'll, I'll put the screenshot somewhere in the in in the video uh and maybe the link in the description 
this is just a basic reinforcement kit so you have your down bars you have a uh this is, should be your harness bar these sh should be your uh your door bars and then these technically were supposed to be your like reinforcements on your loop but what I think what i'm gonna do and that oh uh, and then sorry and then you get uh these little things that i don't really know what i'm gonna do with them right now and then plates you get a bunch of in this whole kit and it was like 220 for this whole kit now my idea now my idea with all of this is to do a mixture of smoky drifts because i don't think he put a harness bar on his or anything like that um obviously from here on now it's all preference so my idea all right let me show you guys uh i already measured where my shoulders sit which are right around here so i marked it where i want my harness because based on what i look online it says that your straps you want them like 15 degrees up or down give or take depending on your shoulders uh from your shoulders so 15 degrees up most likely from your shoulders so that way the harness can fit and snug you down on the actual seat so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a harness bar from this mark to that mark. And then I'm going to use what were to be the reinforcements to go down. Those I'm probably going to use to do a uh, like vertical down bar from to the harness bar and then connect another one to the corner. So and then I'm going to use. Uh. Probably either the leftover material because I know I'm going to have a little bit. The, uh, the guy from the doghouse said that he basically made 11. His measurements was about 11. So I think I might have enough leftover from cutoff to do it because I would not like to use uh, the down bar bars or the side, uh, the, the, door, the, door, uh, the door bars. Because if it doesn't pass tech, then I'll probably have to do it again. Obviously, I'll keep you guys posted, at least on OSW side, if it does pass tech in one of my later videos. Again, disclosure, not a welder. I don't know right now if it's going to pass tech for OSW. I talked to Smokey Drift and I talked to a few people and said that they should. So we're going to try it. I uh, want to have some leftover materials so I can try to, if I have to redo it or just say F it and fix the actual way to do it but then that ruins the convertible which i don't want to do again i don't do how-to videos i just kind of document my journey with my car stuff on my youtube if you made it this far maybe consider subscribing um but i figured that i've been stuck on this dilemma for a while and if i can do some type of video to help people out um why not so um I, right now i'm about to get started and take the seats off uh take the carpet off i i really don't want to take the carpet completely off i already started taking the all the back obviously if you have a vert you know this is all covered i took them super easy you know you take the little push pins that are here to take the back piece off take for the center console obviously you know you have two on the back two on the front take that off take the shift there and then slide it out and then you have this another plastic thing which has some push pins somewhere around here you just pop them up with a little tool but here we go i'm not gonna bore you i'm not gonna bore you with some quick uh speed up or anything like that the next video you're gonna see is probably me measuring it up and getting with more ideas where i want to now another thing that i've done is i put tape uh here and then obviously there to show where my seat ends and where like the roll bar has to be because this is where I want to see and then once I get the carpet out or push forward I'll probably put at least the driver's side in I'm not to worry about the rear side too much because Ultimately if you go to OSW you cannot have a passenger unless you have full a full cage anyway, so But uh, let's get to it. I'll see you guys when I get there. What's going on? So We ran into the first issue, right? So we took the seats off and now we're measuring our full point um, There's no room like obviously I can bend up to get to fall in the hole, but you don't want that because then you can't weld your plate in. So again, stopped, Re watched the video like 15,000 times for the doghouse. Again, subscribe to him. Um, 
what it looks like, which I, I had already thought about it, and but after watching the video, it looks like, this is why I put my marks here, is that he cut this, like right here. And then that was, cut all this off, then that gave him the space to push the bar close to this wall, and then put a plate from the back side, you know what I mean? And then not interfere with the seat bracket. So that's what we're about to do right now. So well, obviously I got a little bit ahead of myself and I didn't film everything. Like I said, we're not a how-to video. I just wanted to give you some people that have the same issue as me uh, or the same problem as me uh, some ideas because I've been through basically a while uh, looking in. So long story short, here we go. So at this point, you guys should have the design or whatever four point that you guys are trying to make. I decided to do a harness bar and then reinforce it down and up. Um, I just notched it. Obviously, there's a couple good videos. I don't have a notcher, which is what took me forever. Um, uh, there's a bunch of good videos on YouTube on how to notch it without a notcher. Obviously, my welds are not the prettiest. I'm worried about that. Um, but I, I went for strength. Now, I just finished. I got to clean up, but I just finished weighting the plate and now doing final, uh, basically, testing. So, I'm about to tack it. Uh, this is right where I want it. I want to make sure that it's leveled and everything. And then I'm gonna put the seats back on to make sure they're they're they have space enough for it to fit with no issues. And then once everything is there, I'm gonna finish welding, or you know finish welding the the, the actual four point to the plate. And then from there, I'm gonna come over here, and I think I'm gonna notch one of these right here. And I'm gonna go right here, notch this, notch here. This is about ten uh, inches, and it should fit right there. And then one of the other side. And that's probably gonna be for me as far as I want to take it um, and then like I said I don't know if I'll be able to pass tech but we're gonna see and if I can pass tech then maybe later on once I move up the, the groups maybe I'll do the uh, extension and down and again just to touch on it again I had to cut into the body just just like a real reinforcement plate I had to cut in there um, to be able to push the, the 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 four point more back towards this actual wall, so and again, um, I don't know what else you guys need to see. Again, probably be the last clip for sure. This took me about two to three days to do. You could probably do it in a weekend. Obviously, I was just working around my schedule, and I ran out of gas yesterday, which would have been done yesterday. But here's what I got so far. I want to see show you the finished product and see a few pointers at this point if that i've learned by doing it all right <clears throat> so this is what it looks like so again i'm not a welder obviously you could also probably if you really want to do it better obviously you can weld it probably be a better welder than me or you could in reality you can size everything up notch everything and then bring it to a good welder, have him weld it, bring it back, measure everything and do a quick tack and then bring it back to somebody else as a better welder. So everything is nice, but everything is strong. This ain't going literally nowhere. So again, if you haven't realized that, I painted the whole thing because I didn't want to paint the whole thing in the car, especially with the screen paint. So what I did was I sprayed it first, sanded everything down and I just started feather edging everything. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna spray everything one more time and then I'm gonna come out here and then so I deleted some of the brackets. I was gonna go all in depth and delete these two, but I gotta keep those for now. So <clears throat> like I keep saying, uh if you guys you had to go in there. I got it. The final things I have to do is obviously clean everything up, uh clean the welds up a little bit more and then uh close it. But this is it, the next clip from this, and thank you for watching. I hope that I might earn your subscription. I don't do how-tos. I just like taking people on the adventure that I do. And I hope you guys really, uh, I, you know, subscribe and like, and see you guys in more of the adventures. Hope this helped, and talk to you guys later.